First, I have some books that I would love to recommend to anyone who is in uh, having to make decisions, living the entrepreneurial life. The first one will be um, this one, Algorithm to Live By. So it's beautiful. It's uh, the computer science of human decision. Because when you are actually in, uh, in running a business or working uh, you know, with the decision maker or whatever, you have to make a decision. The quality of, the, of your business is the quality of your decision, right? And the quality of your life as well is the quality of your decision, obviously. So how can you make the right decision in different contexts with different parameters and be sure that it's either reversible or that it is the right one? So there is this beautiful book that has been uh, 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 written by Brian Christian and Tom Griffiths. And it gives you literally the algorithm, which is the thought process, the if, then, when, to how you make decisions depending on the context, right? And this is beautiful. I think it's a must read. It's, um, I would not say it's easy to read, but it's so logical. Like, it's just common sense. And I love it. Like, even they will tell you at which point of time will you stop hunting for that house and know that this is the house you need to buy. When is the moment you know, for example, that this is the right personal assistant you need to hire? After how many interviews, you have to stop and pick the person that comes because that's the right one. What is the ultimate, optimal, they call it, stopping point? Love it. Recommend it. The second one, again, it's, yes, for a lot of entrepreneurs, but as well leaders uh, who are, of course, into a business and who... We tend a lot as uh, entrepreneurs to, again, I said it many times, to run. I'll not say often, but if you are lucky, you are running after the right things. If you are not, you may find yourself running after the wrong thing. This one is a must. It's uh, not only by one of the founders of disruptive innovation. He is called Clayton Christensen. Uh, but actually, for me, it's one of his most meaningful and the write up where he is not talking about disruptive innovation or iterative innovation. He is talking actually about how you will measure your life. So take it from one of the most innovative brains in the world that, of course, we just lost. But and now what you need to measure, what how are you wanting to live your life? And this is not philosophical. It's very down to earth, super easy to read for every entrepreneur. I would love them to read that to know what they are doing and why. The third one absolutely for entrepreneurs because <laughs> generally you feel that the world is collapsing every time you are touching something especially when you are in a tech startup uh, or a scale up or whatever like every day you are either in firefighting and then you are uh, you know sometimes being in a in a startup or building something new or something you you feel that it's slowly and you feel that sometimes odds are going against you. The world is collapsing. You know, there is shortage of energy and there is much more poverty. And the illnesses in the world are like, you know, like never before. And, and you know, it's sometimes it just seems like all, you know, not going, collapsing. And this is where, this is the one where I'm, that I'm literally having just on my first book I will take every time I feel something is wrong. And I'm reminded that. I can go to this. It's called uh, Factfulness. I love this little book. It's something, so it's written by Rosalind. So Barack Obama actually uh, um, put uh, his uh, a sentence, yeah. And he said, it's a book about the potential for human progress when we work off facts rather than our inheriting biases. So the whole book is about facts and numbers, figures. And they will show you actually that, for example, if I take this one, the CO2 emission by income and how actually the world is really way better than 10 years ago and then 50 years ago and then two centuries ago by numbers and how poverty actually actually is, you know, literally uh, going uh, downside. Of course, we are living in a connected world and we feel that the world is collapsing and all the wars, but read this and you will understand that we are doing way better than we think. But of course, it's up to us to make it even more extraordinary.